the room. I'm going down to get some food, man. It's pretty packed, like literally, it's pretty packed. Like, it's so, so packed, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just start the video here. And uh, yeah, I hope you're on good vibes. You're staying blessed and life is treating you well. And yeah, anyway, Burger King, I'm gonna get the King Box again. So stand by. Just looking for a spot to uh, eat my food, mate. I literally. Now I'm gonna fucking smoke a zoo. I've already pre rolled one. In there because, um, well, because it was quiet downstairs. And it's so, so busy, like so many people, literally. So it may just be better off for me to just, just fucking go back inside and eat, like literally. Because it's just so busy, like literally so busy. There's places where I could go, but by the time I get to those places, like, yeah. So why the evening is better, and because it's sunny as well. In sun, sun, summertime, they're all like proper. Uh, they're all like proper. Ah, uh, someone's just taken the space where I wanted to sit. So I won't be sitting in there. Oh dear, dear. Yeah, like I said, it's all like fucking. It's all like busy and shit. So either way. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to eat this. I need to get some deodorant as well. I don't really want to walk up and down in the sun too much. Ugh. I like going out and I like warm weather, but I don't because I don't like fucking, oh, deodorant, this, 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 this. And then have a fucking think about everyone else that you're around if you're wearing deodorant. It's just long. Like, I'm not a nasty guy, but it's just kind of long. I just like to be myself. Like, yeah, never mind. Right. It's all chilled. But yeah, I'm enjoying fucking just being able to record my thoughts and share it with you. But literally. And uh, yeah, you get really weird looks, but like I said, nobody gives a fuck because they've all seen a camera before. <laughs> like literally, they've all seen a camera. So people aren't really too fast. But yeah, I just haven't been able to record like hardly anything like literally hardly anything so yeah but it's all good just perch somewhere just perch somewhere and uh this is for the restaurant so if i sat there they'll get all pissy uh, and what in I mean, I could, I could just perch. If someone comes and tells me off, then yeah, I'll just move. Once again, I didn't have to pay for sauce purely because. Um, They wouldn't give me change. Like, I gave them a no, and they wouldn't give me change. So I think that might be a little. Um, I think that might be a little hack. How not to pay for sauce? I literally just give them a note for sixty cents, and they'll be like, "No, sorry." That's twice, three times. In fact, that's happened to me now. Like I say, I just hope that uh, all is well. And I don't have to fucking pack up halfway through. But yeah. I've got the king, the king box again. In Burger King.
salmon with chips, burger, and nuggets. But yeah. It's all chilled, mate. That like, literally is all chilled. I'm feeling blessed. Pleased to be here. And yeah, they got some nice architecture, like murals up on the ceiling. as well. I'm going to the park and have that.
going to go to the uh, the park. Look at the ceiling. It's well nice. I know I fucking on my camera, but at least I'll be watching where I'm going, mate. At least it. I really hate walking and smoking. I literally, I've gotten really, uh, really uh, um, displeased with it. I like, literally. However, I'm feeling good now. At least I'm feeling good. And it's all chilled. Going down another uh, <coughs> little side road. So I would try and uh, sit down when I have a blaze, literally. But it's all chilled, I literally it's all chilled. But I'm only here for a couple of days and then I'll be moving on. So yeah, I mean I can either go Portugal I can go back to Kenya. Now I want to go back to Kenya, but getting a job is a lot more difficult than I thought because I've got to get a permit, a work permit. And yeah, it's kind of just like a piss take because, well, it's not. Like, I'm for it. Like, I'm for the rules until they happen to me. And then it's like, oh, peak, if you know what I mean. Mm. We'll go down this way. There's so many people that are in England and they come up with this sob story. Oh, I'm in the country, I found someone, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, there's a lot of people that just scam it. And I'm like, oh, fuck you. But then that happened to me and it's like, oh my God, like, like it's annoying. Like it's so annoying. Like it's so annoying. But like I say, it is what it is. I don't wanna just go on and on and on about it, but yeah. I don't really know what else to do. Well you carry on with life, don't you? But like when you find someone and it's like oh but yeah never mind but like, it's all chilled I can feel all the eyes but like it's nice eyes because like I said you walk past and like you don't get um you don't get uh you don't get robbed you don't get shouted at like literally it's just chilled so it's all good eyes. It's not evil eyes. <laughs> no, literally. But yeah, there was a mall. Like a really nice mall. Where I saw the Black Mamba. With some fucking amazing, amazing gardens, man. But literally, there's so many places that are just really nice. But it's just like, <clears throat> because of the whole division. Like there's rich and there's poor, but there's no in between. So it's like... Yeah, it's like, it's a rich area, or considered a rich area, so you can't just go and, go and film. But then it's annoying because, like, I want to show off what the good side is, but like I said, because of Western media, 
whenever people see a camera they just like oh rah, 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 rah. so therefore it's just one of those things that you can't you can't show both sides like they only allow you to show the negative side rather than the nice side as well so that people can see like what it's like for both sides but yeah it's all good it's all good Um, I need to get on a tram somewhere, somehow. And yeah, go down this way I reckon. Uh, 14. The number 14. I don't know if that's going to do anything for me. Well, literally, I don't know. I'm just glad to be in the shade. Well, literally. A pink bike. But yeah, it's all chilled. I'm pretty sure I'm near where I started. I like literally, like really near. Or is there just two McDonald's? I think there may just be two McDonald's. No rubbish. Right, there's no rubbish at all. Right. The streets are just proper clear, are really clean. Like there's just no rubbish compared to what I've been used to. Where there's just no bins at all and everyone just chucks their rubbish in the water. Like there's just no rubbish here. Like it's pretty mad. Like really mad. Kind of weird though that to feel comfortable we just have like supermarkets and shops and that like, and we just walk around and that's what we do with our lives like and this is like doing something whereas there it was just completely different like I'm not saying they don't don't have like supermarkets and that but like if you just walk around like this you're considered rich like so all of us here we're all rich like we're all considered rich like because we can just go around in shops like and just instead of like working and having money now like, we can just spend time doing nothing in shops because yeah there's a system and like we can just go out like we don't have to think about survival <laughs> like we can just be out and know we're gonna survive whereas every day is like surviving when I'm there <clears throat> Right, it's just a different vibe. <laughs> we'll go down the side here. Nice 
Oh yeah, it's all chilled, mate. Like, literally, it's all good. I'm feeling blessed. And I can't wait to smoke this soup. At least I can smell so much straw. I'm not even smoking myself. It's kind of peak. And there's a drinking tap. At least you, you can just get water. In fact, I'll put my cup away. But yeah, there's a drinking tap where you can just get water. Everyone's probably looking at me thinking, why the fuck is he just recording water? But like, it's just so mad, like literally. Just like, oh, things that are just so normal just don't exist in other places. Which you think are just standard, like you think, oh yeah, let's just go to the tap, like. And there's like, people that's got no water, like water is like, oh, you've got water, like. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just like different. Like, they just don't have loads of resources on tap. Because the government is just fucking, <laughs> they literally just screws them over. So they don't just have running water, like just, just running water for people just come randomly just get a drink. Like they do, but like, it's not the same. <clears throat> like it's just really not the same. But yeah, anyway. I'm gonna, I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for a space to sit. Ooh. You can smell the dank, you can smell the dank, you can smell the dank from here. You can smell the dank. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking for a, I know the tram comes along here, because there's one right there, so. At least I know it's coming along here, but it's just a case of trying to find the right one. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe if I go around the side, cross over, and then I can take it from there. Otherwise, yeah, it's getting very warm. Literally very warm. Oh yeah, I can go this way. I remember coming down here on the tram itself. So, yeah, this is a bike lane. So I need to get out of it. <coughs> like, there's just so many bikes, man. Like so many bikes. Like it's pretty nothing. How many bikes there actually are. could go into the supermarket and get a drink. However, yeah. <sighs> Not drink, deodorant. Deodorant. Here we go. I'm gonna go on this side. One minute, three minutes to wait. Gonna save me uh, walking up and down as well. I literally save me big time. But yeah, it's all good. Number two. Number two. Sure, I I mean, I could get the number two, but then, yeah. Okay, maybe not. I'll get the number five. The number five, I know, goes where I'm going. The number two does as well, but. I'm not in the mood for experimenting. <clears throat> Plus it was pretty full, so yeah. But it's all chilled. This is the street. I literally. The streets are down. The 
one minute, the number five. And yeah. I'm staying literally right opposite the uh, the museum, so like Van Gogh Museum, Banksy Museum. Yeah, Museum Plain they call it. But yeah, I'm staying opposite, so like it's not far at all. And last night I wanted to come out for a draw, um, for a zoo, I mean, and uh, I just literally just went out. I literally was just chilled, just went out straight away. Here you go, number five, this one. This is the one I'm going to be taking. No, proper awkward. Bro. Literally, some places it's been deadly. Like, but yeah, at least it's just awkward and not deadly. Because if it was deadly, then you'll have a, you'll have a problem. It's kind of good for me though, because it gives me like, uh, it gives me some uh, grounding and some perspective of how things could actually be when I get sketched. I get, yeah, I've got one, two, three, three stops. Yeah, it gives me perspective. Uh, when I get scared about something, I just think back to things that were actually scary. Whereas this is just awkward, like everyone's civilised, but we're all just like very into one another. And oh no, don't talk, oh only talk to people you know, don't talk to strangers. So like everyone just, nobody talks to you, which is fine. But over there it was like, people were just mm, proper eyeballing you, staring you down, getting ready to kill you, thinking what the fuck are you doing? Like they were looking at you like as if you had like, if I was to be here with like a dagger or a machine gun or something, like literally it would be madness. Like I said, this is just awkward. It's not actually dangerous. <laughs> but literally. Festival, the Holland Festival. 
like um, I don't know when it's going to be. Casino, the casino. This is my stop. Literally. Right, a red light at the moment. And the next one is me. Literally. The next one is me. Actually, I'll get off at the museum rather than walking. I'll get off two more. I'll stay on another two stops. Relax, Suzy. Sit the road, so I may as well. It's literally opposite where I'm going right here. Just so many people figure out where I'm gonna sit down. sit around the corner, go to a park, I'll cross over. I'll cross over and see what's going on. Sickest thing is being here at night. And that's that sign as well. That Amsterdam sign. Or I Amsterdam. Yeah. Well, literally. I'm going to look on the map. Some benches along the side there. Let me just see. 
mate, I probably want to film those two little girls. <laughs> Not in that way, but just a simple fact that they're just both riding their bikes, just happily, like, it's fine. Like, it's cool. And it's just chill, there's no excess of, oh, children are out, oh, they're going to get hurt, oh. It's like, everyone's just chilled, like, it's just fine, like, there's no drama. Go towards uh, I'm gonna go up towards here, it's sort, of, sort of being said because, like I say, <sighs> I mean, I could just sit there in the middle there, but it's just in the sun, that's all. Last time I did get a bollocking. Oh, there's some green over there. Oh, there is some green. It's opposite. It's opposite museum plane. Plane. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway. Stay blessed for now. Here is like a key spot. Like you can smoke in town, but when you come to places like this, well, you'd think it'll be the other way around, not smoking in town, but smoking in here on the green. Like they can tell you to stop this, like, bylaw sort of thing. It's like one of their free zones. Same, like, because they, they treat it like alcohol, so, like, yeah, you can drink alcohol anywhere, but in certain areas, if you go into town, you're going to have no drink zones. It's the same thing for here, but with weed, no weed zone. It's so funny. But yeah, um, I'm just trying to find a spot. Like all these quiet spots. But here, they are here. It's just a case of like, there's just bare people here. You don't know how they're going to receive it. But it's, I mean, it's chilled, like, it's chilled. Like you want to be courteous just so people don't snitch. Because if you're courteous, then there's less reason for people to snitch. I mean, they can still snitch, but it's just less probable cause for them to. <coughs> These benches are in the sun, which is why they have not been claimed as yet. However, I may take them. Under the, under the trees, man. Literally. And 
There's no weird shit on the ground. Mate, it's taken me so long. Enjoy walking about. Yes, mate. That super silver haze, mate. <clears throat> it's all chilled. Actually, it is all chilled. To be fair, I could just run a time lapse or something. And yeah, the museum is. <laughs> The skating ring. The ice rink is empty. I literally. It is empty. With such a head spin. Like, obviously, you can't take on the world's problems, yeah? So like you've got to be careful, like not to overthink yourself and just fucking just enjoy life and appreciate things. But like just a different contrast, like we're all just sitting here on the grass, like we're all just sitting on the grass. And like I'm not saying there's no grass, I'm not saying that, and I'm not saying there's no like like there's no like woodlands and that. I'm just very like westernised and it's like it's too modern, I'm too modern, like it pisses me off, I'm too modern. But literally. There's there obviously I didn't get to see everything, like absolutely everything. I didn't get to see I was only there for like two weeks, two and a half weeks. Like literally ended my trip was cut short, so like Yeah, but because of where I was and I was on a compound, like I didn't get to see everything. But like yeah. I don't know, just like just going out straight away and just finding a patch of grass, just bare people just chilling. Just walking about, like it happens, people walk about, but like yeah. I think it depends on what area you go to. Plus the area I was in as well in general was just a very built up rich area. So if I went more local, like you could go out a bit more, but like yeah, I dunno, like like obviously every country will say they have what other countries have, but they don't, like, not in the same way, like literally.
and I'm fucking sat here staring at a screen, mate. Like, literally, fucking... <sighs> You've got to block up the camera, though. Literally. I block up my cameras. And I switch it off when I'm walking. I try not to walk with it on. If I got my battery. But yeah, I'm missing the brick, mate. I'm missing the brick. But this girl, she's like, oh, you did a spot, bro. You did a spot, bro. Oh, uh. What's gotten into me, mate? Been led astray. Well, I haven't. I've led her astray, if anything. But literally. But I'm just hoping everything is smooth. And there's NFA, like literally NFA, but they don't really understand NFA, like literally it doesn't really exist. <laughs> NFA, unless you unless you pay like a shit ton of money, then NFA does not exist. NFA means no further action if you've yeah. fucking never been arrested. <laughs> those those are the golden words you want to hear. If you're in the, if you're in that sort of life, then those are the, those are your golden words. NFA. In terms of law, they're, they're the only words you want to hear is NFA. No further action. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping the whole thing gets NFA. Because if it doesn't, then no, it's going to be peak. Like when I go back, I'm going to be staying somewhere completely different. Like literally, I feel like they know, they remember your face as well. Like literally, they'll remember your face. Like, oh, I, mean, I haven't made a bad impression. But it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal. Because to them, it's a big deal. They like Weed is like smoking like fucking crack, selling heroin, fucking. They associate it with like pedophiles, like. Kitty fiddlers, fucking murderers, rapists. They associate it with like really bad crime. Like literally, they they consider it like a really bad crime. Like really bad crime. Like smoking in general is like no. Bearing in mind, 90% of the population goes to church. They're all Christian. Like literally, they're all Christian. There's not one person that don't go to church. Like everyone is Christian. Like even if they don't act Christian, they'll claim the Christian religion. Like it's mad. Like literally. So they see smoking as like something really bad, like so bad, like tobacco is one thing, but weed is just like, oh my god. They're ready to murder me, like literally. No joke, like literally no joke. And Felix, like literally, even while we was even talking about it, it's like I knew, because we was talking about it, and Felix was even saying like, you've got balls, because like, if they catch me smoking, like they, his and his friend was blazing up those hot boxing, and the landlord grassed them up, like literally, like the whole neighborhood grassed them up and the landlord, but like the neighbourhood just like pointed them to them and like fucking, yeah, the police burst in and like, yeah mate, like literally they fucking like, oh mate, it wasn't good, like literally, it wasn't good. So he's like shit scared of smoking weed, like he wouldn't, he like he wouldn't, because like he stopped because of the police, like literally. They just burst in and fucked him up, like literally. And then he had to pay like six grand. Which is a lot of money. It's a lot of money in Kenya. Like six grand to get him out. Literally. And his mate couldn't pay, so he had to go to prison. Literally, it's peak. Literally, it's so peak. So he doesn't smoke weed anymore. And then when you don't get a reply, it's like, what the fuck, why are you not replying, like, literally? <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, mate. I'm not that guy, like, literally, I'm convinced myself I'm not that guy. And then she's just fucking turned me into that guy. It's just like... Like, why? Like, why? Like I said, I stay literally opposite these museums, so like, yeah, it's chilled. It's all chilled.
But yeah, it's such a shock to the system being from one place then to another, like literally. Like one area to a completely different area, like literally. I've got some drink back in the room. So I may go and get it. To be fair, I should have just asked them for a cup of ice, like literally. I might go into McDonald's. I think there's one on the corner there. And just ask them for a cup of ice. But it's just weird to be back, weird to be back in Amsterdam, mate, like literally. And, uh, yeah. Later on, I might travel a little bit, go out on the uh, tram or the bus somewhere. See what I've gone. But, yeah. just go on the uh, train and see what's going on around the airport. I'm going to miss this so much, so literally it's going to be no smoke. I did say this to you, I said this, I don't know if I'm going to be able to smoke, it's going to be no smoking, and I was expecting to go no smoking, and then I started smoking, because I asked for draw and I picked up draw, and then yeah, fucking, ugh. Oh. But it's all good, because I wanted to kind of leave, and then come back anyway, because I had to sort the visa situation out, like, like here it's fine, because in Europe, well, Europe. <laughs> for now, but yeah, it's fine. Like literally, you just come in and they don't even ask you nothing. You just scan your passport. I didn't even have to speak to anyone. You just put your passport on the turnstile and it opens. Like, literally, and that's it. That's how they're doing it now. And then like there's customs that sit in the boxes, but like otherwise, like if unless it flashes up, then yeah. But it's all good, mate. Like, literally, but there it's like fucking check after check after check after check after check. Then you land and then it's like you're at the airport. So you're not actually in the country. You just landed. Like, literally. Landing doesn't mean you're in the country, like, literally, always remember that, if you're flying in a, a, a commercial mainstream airport. But I don't think because you've landed, you've arrived, like, literally. <clears throat> but yeah, it was all good. <laughs> and then I fucking started blazing, like, literally. But I wasn't even smoking at the time, I just got caught with weed, like a stick of weed on me, like, literally. Well, it wasn't like I was blazing and then they saw me blazing. Like, if they would actually caught me in the act, then done, game over. So I'm, I'm grateful for how it turned out because it's actually quite a serious thing, considering how serious they take it. But, like, yeah. Well, I just got a really blasé attitude about it because, like, it wasn't a big deal. Like, I had a near miss, but, like, yeah. But it's just where I would have ended up because of it, like, literally.
There's so many groups of people, like, literally. So sketch. Yeah, I'll come out in the evening and it'll be gone. And I'll just sit here. And it'll be chilled. So last night was quite busy. Loving it. I'm on good vibes, mate. I am on good vibes. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and then I'll probably continue on. Stay blessed, stay lean, and peace.